What's up guys? Welcome back to the Lords of D YouTube channel. Uh, we got another deck profile going up for you guys today. This one's for a, the Red Wish Leader. Uh, this deck is going to take into account the ban list that goes into effect on June 1st, so no child's wishes in this build. Um, this does run the uh, King's Piccolo strategy for the deck that I've been having a decent amount of success with my locals with so far, but any kind of advice or any kind of tech you guys have tried out with a deck like this, Definitely hit me up down in the comments and let me know what you guys have found that works. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the profile. Alright guys, so for starters, we run the Pilaf leader that flips into the Oolong Wish. So the Pilaf leader has a once per turn that when one of your battle cards attacks, you can give it plus 5,000 and then search your deck for a Dragon Ball. Or, or your life. Uh, the flip side has the standard wish abilities. Now this is one of the wish leaders that can attack. He does not have the auto or the permanent that says he cannot attack. So he can still go in with himself. As well as his ultimate that I like to refer to him as is you remove seven Dragon Balls, draw three cards, and then give one of your battle cards plus 15k. Which plays really heavy into the end game strategy that we're going for with this build. So obviously, since we're running Wish, we're going to run seven of the Dragon Balls. I personally run the Perugas Dragon Balls, but you can run the regular ones. I've seen some people tech in the Super Dragon Balls as well. I haven't tried that yet, but I haven't ruled it out yet either. Next up, we're going to run four A King's Return to Youth. Uh, this card is great for searching out one of your boss monsters, as well as thinning out your deck, because it also lets you search another copy of itself as well. Next up, we do have four of the Oolong's Wish. Uh, just like the King's Return to Youth, this card works great as a combo piece with one of the other battle cards that we run in the deck. Uh, so that one lets you, as it's a desire, and lets you draw a card and lets you nag a battle card for 5,000. Next up, we do run two of Is That All You Got, as well as three After Image Technique. Uh, those are going to be it for the extra cards in the deck. Next up, we're going to go into the battle cards. We do run two Fortune Teller Babas, Earth Seer. Uh, she's great because when she comes into play, she lets you either choose an Earthling leader or battle card and give it plus 5k. And then when she, if you combo with her when she's in play, she lets you choose one of your opponent's battle cards and give it minus 5,000 for the turn and draw card. She's a really good early tech that you can also hang on to for combo fodder later that pays off a little bit more. Next up, we do run four of the Intensifying Power Trunks, so if you need to try and run through your life a little bit faster, he's one of the best picks, especially for a one drop. Uh, next up, I do run four of my Trusted Lackey. I tried the full peel-off engine in this deck, and it just was too slow. But her by herself works good just because she lets you search for a Dragon Ball whenever you play her. So since this deck doesn't dig them out as fast as like Super Shenron and Standard Shenron do, that she's great for kind of speeding up to get to that seven. Next up, we do play four of the King Piccolo Evil Ambitions. Uh, this is a card that with this deck you want to open with this card. So when you play him, you can choose up to three battle, up to three Dragon Balls in your deck. Uh, send them to the drop. As long as you send one or more cards to your drop, you can choose a King's Return to Youth from your deck and play it. So, for one, that lets you get that card right out and lets you search out those boss monsters while also getting another monster in play. It lets you cycle your Dragon Balls in your drop to get to that Remove 7 ability. Next up, we do run three of Everybody's Pal Yamcha. Uh, most of this deck he has availability to pull targets for, because short of the Piccolos in the deck, everything in here is Earthling, so he can grab all of them. And the nice part is, is the ability is when he attacks. So even if he gets negated, you get that auto, so as long as you attack with him every turn, you can keep searching for battle cards, trying to fill up your hand. Next up, we do run four of the Scheming Oolong. This is the one that ties in with your Oolong's Wish, so when you play him, if you have an Oolong's Wish in your drop, you get to draw two cards with this play. And at two for a 15k, he's already pretty good, but that extra two draw for that, especially if you can get him out on turn two, can really speed up your plays. 
Next up, we got our super combos. So I run two of the Master Roshi Martial Expert as well as two of the Sideline Assist Bolts. Uh, sometimes this deck has an issue with sparking and sometimes not, so that's why I decided to half and half it to what I was running. So here is the main game ender that you're going for, which is King Piccolo Terror Unleashed. Uh, he is a 20,000 double strike that says if a king's return to youth is in your drop, his cost is reduced by one, so you can play him on turn three. And then he has a sparking 10 ability once per turn that says like you can send a King Piccolo, Terror Unleashed, or a King's Return to Youth and your drop to the warp and re-stand him. So your main typical strategy you're going with for is this in this deck is to get him out, make sure you have those cards in the drop, go for that remove seven so you have a 35k double strike that you can re-stand again. Uh, just for a little bit extra tech and a little bit extra strength, I do run one Scientist Foo in this deck. Uh, just because he has the draw power, and like I said, he's another really big heavy hitter for the deck. Um, so that is the profile that I'm running right now. Like I said, if you guys have any better ideas or anything like that, uh, that you guys think might be some tech that you've tried in this deck personally, definitely let us know down in the comments. But besides that, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and we will see you guys next time.